everybody, hope you're having a nice weekend. This is a video response for Adam from Splendid Sports Cards. He wanted us to do a rifleman video. These are outfielders with exceptional arms. Um, so I went um, peak pick, sort of like the, the um, uh, what I would consider to be probably a popular pick. And then I went very old and more new and unsung. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a table of contents up front. Um, got Willie Mays, this guy. He's got more golden gloves than I have toes. I didn't do the math yet, but just trust me, you haven't seen my feet. A guy that had a historically good arm for his day, uh, Tris Speaker. Uh, now this is admittedly an opportunity for me to show a relatively new pickup for me. Trissy, um, which what I used to call him when we hung, hung out in the old days, anyway. Uh, we got that. And then we have what I consider to be uh, a bit of an unsung hero of Rick and Keel, who started out as a pitcher. Um, he had a little problem with the yips, which is a performance anxiety issue. Um, he had to be converted to an outfielder. Now, I I'm, I'm no stranger to the yips. Um, I don't particularly have like a performance related, you know, like a, a real time performance related job typically. Um, when I have the opportunity to perform in real time, I, I am able to exhibit my yips. I also um, have yips when I go to the ATM because, you know, you got to get the card in there and punch your key. And the tellers usually come out and call me out for a balk. Um, that's not actually an out in baseball, so that's messed up in all sorts of ways. Um, but, you know, just go with me on that. And now we're going to flip the camera and take a closer look. And we're going we're gonna to see some footage of Ann Keel. Let's flip it. All right, so Tris Speaker, I'm gonna focus on the cards because you know I can't really um, bring his talents to life other than that he is an often cited, uh, exceptionally throwing outfielder from his era. Um, so this is a card that I have shown before on my channel, um, but I feel like it's worth the relook. And this was a uh, 1934 British card about baseball around the world, which shows Tris Speaker. Um, I love this card. It's one of my favorite looking pre-war cards, something that I admittedly say too often. Um, and then, however, this is not a Tris Speaker playing days card. Um, so that got me, uh, getting this card, uh, had me thinking, I think it's a gateway, it's a gateway Tris Speaker card, which brought me to this card, which is a one. Now, um... This, these T205s are cards that show condition around the edges a lot, which reminds me a little bit of, uh, say, 1971 tops. You no, know, clearly has wear around the edges. Um, but it is a really nice card other than that. Um, you know, it has a little bit of, uh, you know, maybe surface wear there. The closer you get. The, the 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 more you are distracted from the edges, the nicer it looks. So I was really happy to get this as as a one, and the back is uh, is clean too. I mean, you know, relatively clean for for a card of this era. It's it's perfectly fine for me. Um. So yeah, this is m more about the cards here. And then we have Willie Mays, which is a guy who I don't feel like I need to talk too much about. Um. These are just a couple of cards that I had handy. Um, this is the Deco Edge, but this is the Opichi variation, um, which doesn't have anything on the back. It's a blank back. Uh, it's a little more rare, but these Deco Edge cards are not uh, particularly valuable um, for a playing days Willie Mays card, but cool to have anyway, of course, always. The 1972, the second to last playing days card of Willie Mays. And now Rick Enkiel. I actually bought these cards for this video. It's super cool looking card. Um, you can get Enkiel cards for, for quite a deal if you, if you, you know, are looking for them. I, I like have, I'm a fan of Enkiel. So I was, he was under underrepresented in my collection. So I was happy, happy to get a couple of his cards. And, um, for Rick, let's show some video footage of his exceptional arm. Right center field off the bat of Sapelt. 
flirting with the wall, and Worth can't get it. And we've got a runner heading for third base here. And Keel, tremendous throw. Unbelievable. And if he holds on, out. And this ball to center field. Playable for Ann Keel. Tavares will tag. And Rick's got a great eye oh. to double him up. Rick Ann Keel, who used to throw in the upper 90s as a pitcher, just threw a strike to third base from about 250 oh. feet and threw out one of the fastest men in baseball, and it wasn't that close. Line drive, left center field. This one will be extra bases for Quintanilla. Here comes that throw from Ankeel. He got him! Another one! Rick Ankeel with his second outfield assist of the night, both on the fly, both over 200 feet. Unreal! And that is pretty saucy. Oh yeah. Whammo. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.